Hi, welcome back to Android and iOS apps for your WordPress blog. So it's time to set up our WordPress blogs database. WordPress by default uses MySQL database and that is what WAM server provides. So make sure that you have your WAM server up and running and you can do so by going to your tray and in your tray you will see this icon, the green icon. If the green icon is red, make sure that you click on it and click on start all services. So this will start all the services that WAM server provides which includes Apache 2 web server and the MySQL database server as well. Now all you need to do is go to localhost slash php myadmin. The other way is you can also go to php myadmin by clicking on this WAM server tray icon hit php myadmin. So both ways you can get to PHP MyAdmin. PHP MyAdmin is a very smart tool that web developers and database admins use to create and manage databases. So you can see that I already have around 7-8 databases here and I'm going to create a new one for the WordPress blog that we are going to create. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to databases tab right here and I'm just going to type in a name here and the name of my database blog will be Udemy WordPress block and I'm just gonna hit create. So you can see that I have created a new database here. It does not have any tables as of now and we do not need to create any tables. These tables will be created by WordPress automatically during the installation process. So now that we have created our database as well, all we need to do is start with the installation of our WordPress block. So remember that we have extracted the files of our WordPress in a folder called Udemy WordPress blog. So just go to your browser, type in localhost slash Udemy WordPress blog. This should get you started with the WordPress installation wizard. So you can see that I have the WordPress installation wizard up and running. Just select the language, hit continue. In the next screen, it is going to ask you for the database name, username, password and the host. So the name of my database is Udemy WordPress blog. The username of my database is root. I do not have a password and the database host would be localhost because I'm running everything locally and I'm just gonna hit submit. If everything works fine, this screen is what you will see. It's going to tell you that the database credentials that we entered were OK and now it's going to communicate with the database. Hit run the install button and now it will create the tables inside the WordPress database that we pointed it to. So it's going to ask me for a few details. And I'm going to hit install WordPress. So our WordPress installation has completed successfully. Now if we go back to PHP MyAdmin and if we, if we try to access our database again, Udemy WordPress blog, you'll see that we have 11 tables created by WordPress here. So these are the tables that WordPress uses to store the data. Now we do not need PHP MyAdmin anymore. All we need to do is log into our WordPress admin panel. So the username was Samarth and the password was admin. I'm going to type in and we have logged in successfully to our local WordPress instance. So this is how we set up WordPress locally. In the next video, we'll import some demo content in this WordPress blog and then we'll set up the API so that we can access the data from WordPress blog inside our Ionic application.